What's going on everybody? This is Marlon with Volvo Cars Tucson and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your profiles in your Volvos with the Google operating system. Alright, so let's get to it. Let's go. So This is really simple to set up your profile. And you can set up each key to a profile if you want to. You don't have to uh, get a key to a profile, but if you want your seats, your mirrors, your radio station connected to a key, then you can do it. As you start putting in, if you want to save it on your Bluetooth, connect your device. If you want it to be saved on Sirius XM, if you want it to save a particular radio station, you can do all that. All that is a part of your profile. You'll be able to program your air conditioner to whatever temperature you want it to be. You can set the speed. You can be able to set if you want the recirc on. You can set, select to see if you want to keep your heated seats, heated steering wheel, ventilated seats if you have it on, setting up your seats, your mirrors, the lumbar, seats, leg adjustments like this here. All of that was a part of your profile. It's very similar to your memory seats. Put your seat in the position that you want. You hit M and then you hit 1, your memory number 1. That's what profile setup looks like now to do that I'm gonna do this the one way that I always show folks how to do it if you find right inside here there's this little key indicator which is effectively called the key reader so depending on what key you want to use the black key or the orange key you put the key in there and let's set up <clears throat> 68 degrees so we're gonna put it at number one speed and if we're gonna make gonna hit this guy over here in the corner we're gonna put Sirius XM let's do go to channel 66 as my radio station gonna select that alright so I got the temperature I want I got the radio station that I want. Now we're going to go back to profiles and we're going to connect key to profile. So since I got the orange key down there, I'm going to hit it. Oh, they give me a message. It says, key to profile. More than one key is found. Place the key you want to connect on the backup reader and try again. The reason why I give you that message is because this key is inside of the Volvo and the Volvo is confused. It doesn't know what key you actually want. So this key, whenever you're having a, a setting up your profile, you want to make sure the second key is not inside of the Volvo. So I just took the key and just put it outside the Volvo and I'm going to hit try again. Done. So now the orange key is key to this program. I am good to go. That part is done. Now if I want to name it, we're going to name the orange key Volvo 2000. And then when you edit that and you see the V up there, profile number one using key two. Now that's since that's done, I just hit the cogwheel and that's it. That's all you got to do. Now say you want to add the black key to the next profile. Well that's quite simple. You pull the screen down from the top. You select Volvo 2000 then you're going to see Sorry. add new, pro uh, new profile show it here. So I'm going to select this and it gives you instructions when you add a new profile you'll be guiding through the settings for this profile the procedure may take a few minutes to complete hit OK and everything is going to reset 
Now since this is my first time doing this, it's gonna bring me to the screen. I welcome you to Volvo. Now, what this screen is, it's that blue bar that you've seen previously that says complete Volvo setup. But, for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna go through this process. I'm gonna hit the home button. I'm simply gonna program this key, like so. I hit the cog wheel again. I go to profiles again. I see connect key to profile. Profile number one. There is no key connected to it because we haven't did that yet. So I'm going to put this temperature at 70. Put that at fan speed too. That's okay. I'm going to put a different radio station. I'm just going to do regular radio for this one. So there's my radio station, there's my temperature, I'm going to move my seat and I'm going to program by hitting M2. Now my seat is programmed, my radio is programmed, now we're going to go back to profiles, we're going to change the name. We're gonna call this uh, XC90. So now I have two completely different profiles set up the way I want. Now I can add more settings to profiles if I want to. For example, I hit sound. If I want my surround sound on, I can put my surround sound to whatever I want. If I want my mirrors to tilt in reverse, if I want one of the door locks to open instead of all of them, if I want, if I had heads up display, I can adjust that to my height, whatever I want it to be, because this is all a part of what I want for my profile. And once you do all that, I come back here. Like the black key, I'm going to take the orange key and put it outside of the Volvo. Put the black key in the card reader. And then I just hit connect key to profile. And that's it. So if you want to change something, say I want to uh, make my temperature higher or lower. Cause this everything is saved right now so I want to disconnect the key from the profile yes I make my changes whatever it, it can be whatever you want it to be and then I come back to profile make sure the key is in the key reader make sure the other key is not in here and that's it so you got to set up now since both of these keys are programmed now I'm going to show you how to activate the keys so since the black key is key number one I'm going to show you how to activate key number two when the vehicle is off and up here you'll see this is the X so this was so this is the black key that is programmed to when we got out of it. Now I'm gonna hit the lock button to tell the Volvo I am now using the orange key. Right? So we hit the unlock button on here. And as you can see, the seat is moving back to its position that I had the orange key set to the V, which is Meaning that this is profile one, this is now the orange key. To switch back to the black key, we hit the lock on the black key, and we hit the unlock on the black key to tell the Volvo that I am now on the black key. The first thing you're gonna see is the seat going in the position that I have programmed for the black key. And that's it. 
that's how you set up the profile all right so there you have it that was how to program your profile the administrator one the second profile which originally is called P1 until you name it something how to use your, the keys to switch between the profiles when you're outside of the Volvo you hit the lock button and then you hit the unlock button that's literally telling the Volvo hey it's the black key or hey it's the orange key now if you don't have neither key program to it that's okay what you simply do if you want to switch between the profiles you go to the top of the screen you pull it down and then you'll see the name or it'll say owner if you didn't change the name of it yet or it will say uh, you know the name you select the name and whichever second one you select the seats if you program the seats will move but the screen will change automatically to whatever the second person is. And that's pretty much it. So practice a couple of times, get used to it. It's not difficult. Thank you guys again. Appreciate it for all the views. It's Marlon at Volvo Cars Tucson. Signing out. See you on the next one.